first day of fourth grade and kindergarten. And this child look like she going to first grade. I ain't got my shoes on right. See, I got one shoe on, one shoe on. Look at my ticket tag. I'm so happy. And then, Mama, can you watch us? Can you watch me on the first day of school in the bus? Mm -hmm. I want Walk you. Walk on the bus. I said, deuces. What's your teacher name? Miss. Miss. The lights. Miss Crawford and Miss. Marcus. Marcus. Did y'all get my letter? Yes, um, I like the positive vibes. And thank oh. you, mommy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when she hugged me, she, she had stuck her elbow on my leg. It hurt so bad. Because mm. I had read it to her earlier. This hurts. This hurts. She wrote yours in pink. She wrote mine in pink. I room color, y'all. Isn't that crazy? Purple is my room color, pink is her room color. Wow. You watch it? Really? And I'm wearing my same book bag as last year. I just got five subjects. I and got my this teacher one. name is Miss Wimberly, Miss Jester, and I forgot the last one. And y'all, uh, this my book Ms. bag because I left my yes, father one down there in Mississippi. Yes, this book bag is mainly for traveling, like when we go to Florida and stuff. But. You know, not for me. Yeah. She left, so yeah. What time y'all get up this morning? Four o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, the reason I got up at four o'clock because I was hot and I was thirsty. And I woke up and I the up in there. Waiting on the bus. You ready, Kyle? You ready? Alright. I hope it comes today. Don't be late. I'm gonna have to sit down. No, don't sit on it. Still you probably with Miss Pants up. Kind of Going off to school, y'all. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh my God. I just got done washing my hair, and it's about 2:20, and the girls should be getting off the bus soon. So I'm sitting in the window, waiting for them to get out of the bus, waiting for them to get off the bus. <clears throat> I can't wait to hear about how their day went. I don't know if I told y'all or not, but we did come up with a name for the dog and the dog's name is Skylar. I just took her little stanky tail to the vet to get shots and a bath because she was stanky. And I didn't know if, because she was given to us, so we didn't know if she had already had shots or not. She was scratching and crap all the time. And I don't know what to do, no dead or no sick dog. So I went ahead and took her to the vet. Tired of mopping and sweeping and picking up stuff. And <sighs> I wanted a dog, but I knew it was a reason why I did not want a dog. And now I know exactly what that reason is. But I guess we're stuck now. <sighs> so yeah, Skylar's at the vet. That's crazy. Dogs grow fast because she just been here for four or five weeks and she beat. Like, she beat for a puppy. So, yeah, since I now I know how old she is, I'm going to start with her butt because I'm tired of all these mops. I got to go ahead and get her trained because I don't like my dogs to stay outside. I just feel like they're so cruel and like. 
Why get a dog if you just gonna leave it out outside alone and ugh. like the dog should be a part of the family and the family is in the house. So I feel like the dog should be in the house. However, I don't want my house to smell like dog. But like a few of my neighbors and, and people that I know who have dogs, they don't they house don't smell like dog. Now I do know a couple people who house just stink. But um, a lot of people in my neighborhood have dogs, and they keep their dogs inside. My neighbor, Miss Faye, you hardly ever see her dogs unless she bring them out to give them a bath or something. And her house don't smell like she got a dog at all. But she keeps her dogs in the house, and she says she let them out on the back porch to do their business. And even the previous owner of this house, he had two small dogs. And when we came to, like, walk the house and... You know, to see the house and stuff, we didn't even know he had dogs. It did not smell like dog at all. And we didn't know he had them until we opened up a door, walked in a room, and they was just sitting there all quiet in the cage. So I'm hoping that I could get Skylar like that. <clears throat> I need for her to be in the house, and I need for the house not to smell. Because if the house smells, Eric is not going to let her stay in the house. So if anybody can give me any tips or suggestions on how I can maintain a clean good smelling home and have my dog live in the house too please help me because i really don't want the dog to be outside all alone it's hot out there it's hot and it's bugs and i don't like it Did you have a good day? Yes. Were you scared? No? I met, I met one of my old friends. Miss Poppy said, mm. Mikaela's out there looking for me. She was. Yeah, I looked place to place. Was you nervous on the bus? No, I was happy. I went. Good. I'm glad you had a good day. You just come home with all kind of papers and stuff. So my dish off. Got to you a folder, girl? A homework folder. I ain't getting a homework today. Girl, you got you a homework folder. No homework, though. That's all for you. What is my dog's This way you kept. The dog is gone. Well. I gave him away. What? She kept on booing on the ride. What? <laughs> For real, mom, what she at? <laughs> Don't prank her. What she what at, she? for real? She gone. No, she not. Where she at? Yes, yeah, she is. What is she? She gone. <laughs> you must let the garage open on purpose. No, yeah, because it's thing. Where is she? She at the bed. I knew you wouldn't let it go. <laughs> I knew it. She getting a bath and she getting some shots. How was your day? And mom, um, guess what I got? I got some two so apparently there's something new this year with the buses to make sure that each child gets on the right bus. They have names and the teacher told me about it. So they have these little um, wristbands. wristbands. And Michaela and Makai's bus is the white polar bear. And they wear their little wristbands. Every day. That's what the woman said on the bus. And I don't really want to rest. She said if you know. lose it, she got some up. Okay, here. Nah, I'm going to try to lose it. No, you're not going to try to lose it. Well, if I lose it. I thought that was cool. A cool way for the, especially the smaller kids to remember what bus they ride yeah. so they won't get lost. So is the white polar bear on the bus too? They have a sign, like somebody to go outside and they have a white polar bear sign. And then they check their names out there. I was kind of nervous about the bus ride for Makaya. That's good that they came up with some type of uh, solution to make sure the kids get home and get on the right yeah, bus. Yeah, there they have some problems where kids didn't get on the bus. Mm. Okay. All right, you guys. So that's going to do it for this video. So um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. 
We really hope that you all enjoy watching our videos. The kids really enjoy making them and going back, looking back on them. Um, share. Share this video. Tell somebody. Tell a friend. And um, we'll see you all on the next video. Bye.